Hi everyone. Welcome to Aadhar Shila coding classes. Today we are going to make one application on MIT App Inventor. The name of the application is Piano. So let's get started. Take a new project, write the name as Piano. Now very first thing which we have to keep in mind is Piano has lots of keys. So instead of keeping the screen in the vertical manner, we are going to change the display to horizontal manner. In the properties of screen 1, scroll down, you will find the option of screen orientation. Make it as landscape. Now you can notice the screen is coming in the landscape format. Next thing before we start with the application is we have to take few notes which are important in Piano. I'm going to attach the file which you can download from the description box. For now, I'm going to upload that file over here. One by one, we are going to take each note which is important. We have to continue the same process till you will be able to upload all the notes here. Now, as you can see, I have uploaded all the notes which are required. Let's now start making this application. First, we will be taking two horizontal arrangements. Go to the layout option, drag two horizontal arrangements, one below the other. For the first horizontal arrangement, I will be keeping the height as 70% and width as fill parent. Similarly, for the horizontal arrangement 2, we will be keeping the height as 30% and width as fill parent. Now, the upper uh, horizontal arrangement is going to contain all the keys. So, in this case, we will be taking buttons to represent the keys. Let's start with taking the button number 1, button number 2, button number 3, button number four we have to take few more buttons but before we take the, those buttons let's adjust their size so we will be able to add few more buttons in it i will keep the width of all the buttons as 10 percent and height i'm going to keep as 70 percent as you can notice these keys are coming properly on my screen we will be needing four more keys here so i'll attach four more buttons first button and one more button I'm taking don't worry if it is not visible right now to you it is there on the screen again I'm going to select these two buttons keeping their height to 70% and width to 10% as you may notice now all the keys are coming properly on my screen now we will be changing the alphabets or the name of the key nodes on each of them I'll start from the first button. The first key is going to have the value as C. Second key has going to be the value with B. Then E. F. G. A. B and lastly we are going to have high C. After taking all the alphabets on my screen, now whatever properties I'm going to do, they are going to be similar. So I will select all the buttons, keep all the fonts to be bold. You can increase the size of the font, so I'm going to keep it as 18, so it should be visible enough. If you want, you can give different colors to these keys, or if you want, you can give the same color as well. I am going to take different colors, which should look beautiful. I will be selecting first button, giving it a color red. Button 2, the color I'm going to give is orange. Third button will be having a color as yellow. Fourth button going to have a color green. Fifth button will be having the value or color as cyan. Sixth button will be having value or color as blue. Button seven is going to have magenta color. And last thing, button eight is going to have the color of your choice. I will take it as. Blue. 
After this, we are done with the designing part. Let's move to the blocks area. Now in blocks area, there is one way of making a code where you have to do the coding for each and every button for each and every key. In case you don't want to do that, you can make a procedure and then you can use it for different keys. A procedure is a function in which you can create a particular code and you can repeat that code continuously again and again. Now I have noticed that I have taken lots of buttons and each button does not contain which note it is going to talk about. So you can go back to the designer area, press on each button and rename them accordingly. So this is C note. Then this is going to be D note. This is going to be E note and so on. You can do the namings of each of the buttons required so that it will be easy for you to do the coding afterwards. I have completed the naming of all the eight keys which I have taken. Now I will be renaming this clear note button as well so it will not create any confusion. We are done with the naming part. Let's go back to the blocks area and start doing the code. As I have mentioned earlier, we can create a procedure. So I will go to procedures. Take out a procedure. In this procedure, I will be giving it a name as play notes. And I want if I press on let's see C button, it should be able to play C note. For making sure that it is working properly, I am going to add one input here. This input is going to talk about which note we are pressing right now. So I'll write instead of X as note here. And now I will be able to make the code. So first thing which I have to do is we have not set any particular sound for the player. I, I am going to play a sound according to the key I am pressing. So I will take the option set player source in this case you don't need to select any particular sound so you can delete this block i'm going to take one block from text which is helping us in joining few information i'll attach this join block here i want whichever note i'm going to press that note 
should come with the name of the media so in this case if you see we have media option where it's written e note dot wave so i'm going to write the same thing as you notice it is coming as c note dot wave a note dot wave g note dot wave all the names are having note dot wave common so we can change the get note as a b c d and the other thing which is going to be same for each of the key we are going to write it down over here i take a blank text box attach it here and i'm going to write the same thing note dot wave now in this case every time you press on c, uh, c note it is going to show c note dot wave so that will become the source if you press on a it will become the source and so on after this i want the player should start playing that sound as well so i'll go back to player and i'll take call player to play the sound if this much is clear let's now take the buttons and start working for them as i have said when i press on the c button i want from the procedure that this procedure should come and ask me which note i want to play i will mention note c like this and it's going to play note c too we can duplicate it for eight uh, different keys arrange the blocks properly so that we can edit them and let's count if they are total eight in number or less i can see there are seven right now i'll be duplicating one more and now eight notes are there change the name of the button and change the note as well we have to repeat the same thing till we will be done for each of the button okay now as you can see we are done with all the notes here now we have to do the coding for the label which we have added in the project and the button which we have taken as clear i want to see the notes which i am writing so i am going to take the block from the label and i want to keep it text as set label one text and whichever key i am playing i want to see that on my screen so i'm going to take one join i'll duplicate this one only you can choose a new one from the text area as well i need one more option in the string so i'll be taking one more string we want to see the text which is already written on the label so i will take the already written text if there is any then it should show me some blank space and then it should show me the note after you are done with one of the tune and you want to play again you will be pressing one clear notes to clear everything i want to clear the text written inside the label so i'll be writing everything here as blank i can directly attach this blank text box and everything will become blank again now we are done with the coding part as well let me connect my phone and show you how it is work as you have seen the results it is working really nice if you like this application please like share and sub subscribe to adhar shila coding classes see you in the next video till then bye